Look, uh, it, it's obviously not ideal to uh, start a game uh, with uh, you know conceding a, a turnover from a kickoff and, and then the opposition score. Uh, but we've got a, a very good process in in place, and uh, you know you know that the uh, rugby games are one over eighty minutes. It's not one or lost in the first minute. So we just kept our composure. From a coach's point of view, you know if you lose your composure, you know that will filter down to the team. So we were very calm. Just stuck to our process, uh, made sure our messages were clear. We had a good chat at, at half-time in, in terms of aligning exactly what we needed to do, uh, tactically and mentally. And uh, all credit to the, the leadership group on the pitch and, and to the players uh, to, to stick for it for, for 80 minutes. It, it's all about consistency, like I, like I said straight after the game. Uh, we, we as a group really enjoyed that. It was a massive challenge and, and to come back in the way that we did. You know, you you go through through big lows and big highs in in the game of of rugby. So uh, you know, when you get a win like that, you, you've got to enjoy it. But um, you know, stick to our process. Uh, back in on Monday morning, look at what we did well and look at uh, what we could in, improve. And then uh, after our review, on to the next one. Um, and the next one's pretty big as well. Obviously, we've got a, a big squad, and, and we'll use the squad over the. the the next three weeks, uh, the national players will, will all get a, a breather somewhere over the next three weeks. So, you know, we'll manage our squad carefully and, you know, uh, give the national players the, the time away. And for us, you know, some of them will, won't be playing in the first one, some not in the second one and, and some not on the third one. So we'll manage all those uh, individuals according to, to our needs. I believe in, in terms of, of rugby specific, you, you need to have a process and uh, the longer a, a group uh, are together, the, the better they become. And if you look in, in world sports, um, teams that have been together for a long time, most of the times turn out to be pretty successful because they go through different experiences that, that makes them grow. Uh, in terms of the emotion of, of Saturday evening, the fact that... Uh, you know, uh, Munster have never beaten uh, Clermont in Clermont. Uh, obviously, that's a big achievement, and to do it in the way that we did, you know, we we've got a lot of belief in in what we do. Um, but to go and win in France in the way that we did will will certainly um, kick us on to another level mentally. Um, I know uh, I want to say as well, we we by no means perfect. Uh, um, but uh, take uh, what we can out of that game and then move on to the next one. Just on to Leinster, they um, have been the champions for the last three seasons. I think they've won 26 games uh, in a row. I think they've got nine bonus point victories with four tries over the, the last few months. Uh, so, you know, the, the quality that we're going to come up against the squad is, is undeniable. Um, you know, for us, it's it's another game in a very long season, and you know, our mantra will take it week by week. So we're playing at home against top quality opposition, and and it's an inter pro derby uh, against a very good team. So it's a uh, it's a big game for us. Um, you know, so one that we're looking forward to very much. And then you've got Ulster after that, and Connacht after that, and back into Europe. So all games over this part of the the year are big games. I am a set piece hooker and you know maybe I kind of tried to you know add other things to my game and things like that you know get a bit more dynamic and obviously work on my speed and you know agility and stuff all I can I still do all that you know I want to be as good in all those areas as I possibly can but at the same time I know I'm a set piece hooker and I know that's what I can bring to a team and that's what I aim to bring every week that and just work right around the pitch and my breakdown stuff you know I just that's how I was coached as a young fella that's what I still believe that that's my primary job and I need to be able to deliver my primary job all the time for the team. We obviously really enjoyed last week and I travelled as a cover sub and it was just even brilliant to be over there and just to see, you know, the lads afterwards and the confidence is brimming in our squad. But like you said, we're coming in against, you know, the, the champions now and a seriously, seriously formidable team who I think have won is it 26 games in a row in this competition. So we could get brought back down to earth fairly lively this week if we're not on our game. And that's why we've parked, made a conscious effort to park Europe and concentrate fully on this game. And that's what we'll be doing. So we hope that we can just bring the little bits we've been bringing the last few weeks around our attack and, you know, making sure that we obviously have to, you know, we have a few work-ons in our D from particularly the first half against Claremont 
and you know we, we know that we're going to have to be 100% on our game against Leinster because Claremont's going to feel an awful long way away if we don't perform against these guys you know and that's just the nature of sport that's the game we're in and we don't want it to be up down we've been on a very upward trajectory the last couple of months and we want to keep building and this is a huge test for us you know we know that we're not shying away from that and you know we're looking forward to taking it on.